Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new, I would love for you to stay. Today's video is part of a challenge hosted by Coffee with My Sunshine and Heidi Sumbul DIY. So when you're done watching my video, check my description box for the host channels as well as the playlist. My first trash piece is this box here that I received with a hot water bottle. So I'm going to remove this part. So we've got the black box and that's what we're going to be working with. I'm going to start by hot gluing these corners down. The next thing I've gone and done is look for a marble background image. So I found this on Google and I have printed it on some A4 paper. I'm just going to stick it down on some card. I could have just printed it on card but I forgot so I'm just going to stick that down with my glue stick. Now I'm going to go over this with some Mod Podge, that's just so that it brings out the colours and because the Mod Podge that I'm using is glass, I just felt like it would go with the black glass box that I'm using. Now while that's drying, we're going to start working on the box itself. I'm going to be decorating the border of the box using my gold sharpie pen. Next I'm going to take my washi tape, I really like the saying on this, your only limit is you. So I'm going to decorate the box just by using the washi tape on the side all across the box. Okay, I'm coming back to my paper now and all I'm going to do is measure it so that it can sit and fit nicely inside here. Okay, so this is it all ready to stick inside. It's been cut to size and I'm going to stick it with my glue stick. This is DIY number one completed, we're going to be moving on to DIY number two and I will set this up at the end of the video and show you how it looks. So for the next and final DIY I'm using this Greek yogurt pot. I'm also going to be making use of these slippers that have basically been torn apart and are ready to be thrown so I'm going to use this top part of the material. Next, I'm going to stick these on using my hot glue. Okay, that's all covered now. I literally made use of every single bit of that slipper material. So I've just been testing out some colours of some of my Sharpie pens and I've decided to go with this one here. It is bronze but it kind of comes out like a champagne colour. I don't know, so I decided to go with this one. So all we're going to do is cover up all of the rim of this yogurt pot because it still looks like plastic and we don't want that. We want it to look high end so that it can go nicely with this faux fur here. just got my husband to iron this for me using my hair straightener so I'm using this champagne ribbon and we're going to hot glue it in the center of our yogurt tub just so that it can break some of this black color up and make it look more luxurious Okay, 
Then I'm going to take this little bow and it has the pearl on which I absolutely love and this is a champagne colour so I'm going to hot glue that in the centre there. Okay so I've just gone ahead and placed all of my roses inside. This was a beautiful pink bouquet of roses that I had and I haven't glued anything, I haven't taken the heads off so that I can use them for a future project if I want. So all I've done is just bend these stems that they come with and then just place them inside like this. So there's no styrofoam block, there are no cardboard pieces or anything like that. As you can see it's all just empty and hollow and I've just put them inside and I've got the leaves showing at the back there because I really wanted that bit of detail and just to make this even nicer you can spray it with perfume or you can add essential oil for example I just think that's going to make it not just look good but smell great as well and here's the two final DIYs together. I absolutely love this setup and I'm just so happy with how it came out. I mean, who would know that this was literally from rubbish? That yogurt tub looks so much better now. I really do like it and I hope that this has also inspired you. Have a look around and just think twice before you're about to throw something away. Honestly, you can always do so much with it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you in the next one.